hello friends welcome to BAW tech nuggets today I will show you how to install Oracle 12c database on CentOS 7 so these are the minimum requirements that you need to have on the Linux machine uh, you need to have at least 20 GB of swap space and external forwarding should be enabled because for Oracle you know it opens up a GU it opens up GUI so that you know you can install using the graphical user interface and i'll be following the exact the same steps mentioned in this uh, tech mint website so you can get all the you know, uh, scripts from this website this is the tech mint's uh, tutorial on how to install oracle database on centos 7 so we can scroll down and you can use all these scripts you know in order to install uh, Oracle 12c. I will be using almost same script with the small modifications. So let's start with the first command m update y. So I already updated the system just before this, uh, but I want to run the command again. So you need to be root in order to update, you know, uh, update the system. So m update y since you no, know, I just updated, there are no packages that to be that needs to be updated so next these are the required packages for the oracle tolc database so i'll be copying it and then pasting and then hit enter so it will take some time in order to install these packages so that's done next step is create the you know oracle user groups and accounts so update is complete so next you need to edit this file you need to add those parameters to this file so you need to add at the end shift g and then paste but uh, you need to modify a little bit you can see kernel sh max i made it as you know the value slightly higher than the value that mentioned in the website there is one change and save it and apply these uh, parameters so copy these two commands and then paste it so now go to this uh, limits.conf file so here i will make some small modifications so you need to put vi in front of it and then go to the end of the file and then paste whatever that was shown on the techmint website along with that i will add oracle soft stack the last line that is needed you know for the oracle 12c installation otherwise it, it would uh, uh, give an error during the installation next you need to download the zip file I mean, which is the actual oracle database software from the oracle site website you can register you know with your personal email id and then download that so i already downloaded that and uh, here i am creating a folder called software and then giving the permissions so that uh, i can upload to that folder so i'm going to the software folder and here i am uploading the uh, Linux Oracle database 12c zip file. So once you do that, you need to un unzip. So you can see I uploaded that zip, and then I, then I'm unzipping in the same location because anyway it would create another folder called database
so after that i make i'm creating all these folders that are necessary for the oracle you know uh, installation so i'm creating those folders and giving the right permission to it so here you need to install another package called smart monitor tools uh, seems that is the required package for the oracle now go to database the unzipped folder and then run installer actually you should log in as oracle and then run as run installer you know you cannot install oracle software as a root so you can see it's complaining so now i'm logging as oracle and then run installer so here is the one thing i found out so as i said earlier you know uh, for the Oracle installation it would uh, open up a GUI graphical user interface so you can see in this session I logged in as a BPM admin and then root and then Oracle so this is a three step right so it's not the GUI is not opening if I follow that path so what I need what I'm doing is I exited out of the root and then logging as Oracle so to put it simply open a new session you know as a bpm admin or whatever the, and then log in as oracle and then run installer then the gui will open up so now uh, gui opened up So I'm not giving many my email address. If you want, you can give to receive the updates. So here I'm selecting the create and configure the database with the server class. Database installation. I just want to install single instance uh, and a typical installation so that I can give the minimum, you know, basic configuration parameters. So I'm selecting Enterprise Edition and then I'm in the installation location you know with the folders we have created with the scripts so I will show you one more time single instance zero class typical installation and the software location you know it has to be in the U01 because that's these are the folders we created specifically for the Oracle installation and the database file location i would give u02 as in techmint because i want to separate my data files the database actual data you know the table data and everything that is separate from the you know oracle installation folder and uh, oracle global database name you can give whatever you want you know for the simple city i would give uh, cl 152 which is my ip address ending with and password i'm giving the simple one and I don't want to create any uh, pluggable or container database. Click next. And then, you know, keep as it is. Select. And then it would perform the prerequisite checks. It should pass because we created all the packages, so all the, you know, uh, per right permissions and everything. So if you want you can save this response file it has the important information like you know what is where is the inventory and what is your global database name etc oracle base software location if you want you can save this response file so now the installation started it would take you know roughly 15 to 30 minutes so but in the middle you know it would ask you to run these commands so as a root so create a separate session and log in as a root and then run those commands that's specified on that graphical user interface so i'm running the first one go to that location and run 
ora inst root.sh so i ran that now i'm running the second one so I'll go to that folder run root.sh so you would ask for the local bin directory click just enter you know get the default and then here it is asking for trace for another if you want you can click yes or i would select with the no so if we run if we run those two files click ok and the installation will continue so you can see installation is successful and you can uh, use this url to go to enterprise manager so we need to open some of these ports you know in order to access like this uh, oracle enterprise manager and to connect to the oracle database so these are the ports so open these ports and then reload so go to that uh, oracle enterprise manager url it is asking for the flash enablement click ok now log in as sysys and give the password whatever you have given during the installation so once you log in you can see you know all the oracle database related stuff like you can use the, see the performance security memory configuration like storage configuration etc et here i am creating a new user uh, harish underscore test password you can give whatever you want and then confirm password I want the password to be expired, I want it to be locked and give this you know, default space and then give the session, create session privilege so that you know the user can connect from SQL developer from uh, remotely. So we covered all these steps. So this step is remaining. So you need to add this snippet uh, to the Oracle user home profile. So go to the you know bash home profile Oracle user home profile and then add the snippet. Please make sure you know you have the your Oracle base correct, Oracle home, Oracle SID, everything is correct. You can get that from the response file, you know, uh, that gave during the installation. And also, you need to check listener.ora file that uh, to make sure you know, your listener is working properly. So uh, now the work installation is done. So you need to start the listener. I mean, by default it is started, but if you are restarting for some reason, this is what these are the steps you need to follow. First, start the listener, and then log in as sysdba skill plus and then start up so let's see if we are able to connect so 1521 is the port number as i said we already opened it up so see the connection status is success so this is how you create the oracle database and then connect from sql developer uh, thank you guys uh, thank you for watching